Um, I'm very wary about the Public Data Corporation. Um, I know I've been I've worked with a lot of people in the Cabinet Office and um, uh, and uh, many of them, in fact, I, I think all of them in the Cabinet Office uh, have got the best of intentions and in many other departments too. But I think the 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 question is is what are we trying to do here? Um, if we're trying to find a way of, of, of enforcing that right to data that we've been promised, um, then I'm not sure the Public Data Corporation is that right type of body. And certainly the, uh, the terms of reference that seem to be getting talked about, when you start talking about sweating assets, then in many ways that contradicts those, those goals of right to data. That, you know, there, are, there are tensions in there that I think will, um, uh, will surface very quickly. Um, so, I'm not convinced that the Public Data Corporation is the right um, uh, mechanism for enforcing the right to data. When we're talking about things like sweating assets and uh, and so on, then I think we need to go back to we need to go back to why this data is being collected in the first place. We need to think about the benefits and the size of the market, not just to those people who are already trading in it. Um, but actually to the, to the wider market as well, to, to the UK as a whole. And so um, I'm nervous about the, uh, about the idea and I'm also nervous about the terms of reference. I may be proved wrong and I'd be delighted to be proved wrong, but I'm nervous. <laughs>